I just had a whole bunch of shit just happen. So, um, a brief you on it. Um, my Hero 4 that I was using, the battery died. I could have replaced it, but I said no. So I said, I'll use a phone. It was in the middle of cutting. Um, I actually cut the other side, and I realized that nothing was filmed. So, um, so now I'm cutting the other side of this. So let me get back to this before this video cuts out on me. I'm going to make this fast. There's two holes here that these screws are in, and there's another two holes back here that these were originally in. So what was happening was, um, yeah, I don't know why it's doing this. It's going in and out. So anyway, what was happening was when I had this back in the original spot, it came in. I tried to 45 it, and the space between the clamp and this was not not enough so i had to move it out here and that's when i saw the second holes for a wider material so i went ahead and i did that um again recapping i used my speed square that i have here and all i did was to confirm this to the blade that that was actual 45 degree angle so this will be a straight 45 so that's what i did there um again i got this i got the uh, saw clamped here and I got it clamped here. I got a brick behind it because in the first video, so it was throwing sparks. So I got some stuff there trying to rest it so it doesn't go that far. Um, again, I'm shooting this with my Galaxy S8 Plus. I'm going to hold it in one hand and cut with the other. So I'm going to try and make this cut as best as possible. The last time I cut, the camera didn't pick up. Um, the saw did bog down a little bit. I was putting a little bit of force on it. So I eased up on it, came up, and that was it. It's also a funky cut. I don't know if you can see down here. I'll see if I can show you. It's only taken a tiny piece off just to get it to the angle because the angle is not correct. So um, doing that. So I got this brace and I have it back here. Sorry about the mess here. I got this brace back here so it's holding the excess weight up. And um, okay, so now I'm going to try and hold this and try and make the cut at the same time. So bear with me. All right. It's going to get a little noisy. And you know what I said before, um, some of the videos I saw, this thing was really noisy. This isn't that bad. I mean, it's loud because it's a brushed motor. But it's really not that bad, so uh, maybe you can hear me talking over it. We'll see. All right, here we go. Cutting now. And you heard it bogging a little bit, probably because it got hung up in there. That's all it cut off was that small piece there. So that's all it really cut off was that small piece there. This was all level. Everything was level. So that's all it really cut. I'm not going to grab that piece because it's probably hot as crap. But um, that's all it cut off was that little piece right there. Because that's, uh, like I said, my, in my, said in my other video, my, uh, my grinders were pretty close, but not close enough. I want to try and get these as tight as possible because I don't want to make any slop gaps in them. Um, it is a go-kart. Um, it was originally making it for my son. He was like, uh, he's like out of it. So um, but I'm going to make it. I'm pretty sure we're going to have some fun with it. So that's it. So that's a 45 degree angle cut on the um, on the uh, Drill Master six inch cutoff saw, and I use it on at 45 cutting one inch by one inch, um, eighth inch thick wall steel. Uh, yeah, for a go-kart. And again, it's primed. And painted this stuff. I must have been out of a um, out of out of somewhere because it was already done like this when I got it at the scrapyard. But uh, I have to um, grind off the uh, the primer and paint so I can weld. And that's what I did here. And I'm just squaring up the cuts now, 45, to make sure everything goes together nice and square. And I don't have any big openings and sloppy openings on the end to um to have to weld and fill in. So that's it, guys. Again, um, six inch Drill Master, uh, the Harbor Freight brand. Um, cutoff saw and it does pretty good and it says one inch i'm just assuming i mean it opens up pretty tall it just depends on where you put the material and how you can clamp it in there so you can probably get something maybe inch and a half two inches in there i would say you know without trying to trying to really force it but um all in all it works works pretty good i got the um again i, I typed it in the last thing uh in the last video i got the uh, three pack of blades hold on for me bear with me three pack of blades i think they were around five bucks and this is the way it comes in there. This is the cover on it. It's 46 grit metal, um, 16 inch thick. Uh, their maximum RPM are 10,200 RPMs, and it's a three pack. 
So um, these work pretty good. Just got to take your time. Let the saw do the work. You saw it binding up a little bit because I was trying to get it through. It came to the end. But um, I just pulled up on it, let it build up speed, and then just plunged it back in. So, again, this is only for, like, one inch. I mean, this is an eighth-inch thick piece of steel. This is pretty decent. So I'm um, going to cut it with uh, with no trouble, except a little bit of um, a little bit of uh, bogging at the end. But for the most part, any other stuff, it should cut right through it. Just take your time. Let the saw do the work. Uh, and then you should have no problems again. Uh, I you know, it's not a bad saw um, If you're you know, it's gonna be doing bigger projects larger stuff. Yeah, of course the 14 inch will be a lot better You have uh, more cutting space more cutting capacity and a stronger motor. I think it's two and a half three horsepower motor versus whatever this is um, So um, yeah, don't kid yourself. This is good for what it is if you're building small projects, you know Whatever you're welding up little junk stuff. Maybe some rebar here and there. This will do the trick without a problem don't overtax it. Let this all do the work. Let it spin up. The blades are pretty good. They're um, they're cutting through and they're doing their job. So um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye.